What's up, Fusion and friends? Jay and Skinner here. It will be Taco Tuesday when you guys are watching this. So, I have a taco devotion for you. Um, we're going to be reading Deuteronomy 8. We're going to unpack it a little bit. We're going to learn from it, and it'll be great. I have some context for you guys before we begin. Deuteronomy was written in the early 1400s BC, and the Israelites have been wandering the desert for decades. But they are about to enter the Promised Land, which is pretty exciting for them. And Moses is preparing them. He's telling them what the Promised Land is going to be like and how they should act in it. So with that in mind, I want you guys to grab your trusty Bibles. Um, and I might also have the words here, but I want you guys to pause the video and redo Deuteronomy 8. I'll be waiting for you when you come back. Whoa, you guys are back, and you've read Deuteronomy 8. That is awesome. So, uh, we're going to unpack it a little bit here. Uh, I can see in verse 7 through 9 that the promised land is looking pretty good for the Israelites. It looks like they're going to have plentiful water and food, and they're going to have uh, metals in easily accessible, accessible locations. Um, so it's looking for pretty good for the Israelites. Uh, however, this might create a situation where they're less dependent on God and less in contact with Him. I mean, they're used to relying on God for pretty much everything. They've eaten the bread He has made fall from the sky for a long time. So, this might create a situation where they start forgiving the God and they start neglecting Him. But Moses is saying, whoa guys, we cannot let that happen. Yes, it's going to be great, but we still have to remember God, remember what he's done for us, remember to obey him, and remember to praise him. And I think this reflects in our own lives really well. I think it's very hard or easy for us um, when we're going through hard times to cry, cry out to God um, and to be in contact with him, really just to remember him. But when we're going through easy times, times where you know we're taken care of, it's really hard to remember him sometimes and we tend to forget about him and we just we tend to stop being in contact with him but as Moses said here we can't let that happen so my challenge for you guys is to think of one way that through the good times and through the bad times that you can remain in contact with God I have an example here for you guys um, this is my journal uh, on one side, I keep my prayers right here, and on the other side, I read a little bit of scripture every day, and I write a little bit of what I learned, and I do this every single day so I can remain in contact with God. Um, I've heard of a lot of other ways that people remain in contact with God, for instance, writing verses down and putting them like everywhere that they go, so that they look at the verse and they remember to you know talk to God about it a little bit. And I've also heard of people having scheduled prayer times, which I also do myself. Um, but yeah, think of one way that you can remain in contact with God through the good times and the bad times. Thank you guys. Uh, see you later. <laughs>